video today is just going to be really casual and laid back, kind of like the ones I did for my horror comic project. 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 <laughs> and I'm just going to be doodling in this sketchbook. Before we start, I just wanted to take you through the sketchbook and obviously you've seen the title. I have nearly finished it, but I just thought I'd just do a tour for it now because I think, I think I'm going to, you know, retire this one. The main flaw that I had with this sketchbook is actually the shape. I know some people, you know, probably like this rectangular shape. That's fine for them. I didn't pick this. Chris bought this for me. So sorry about this, Chris, which is fine. You know, like it's a nice thing to buy someone a sketchbook, but it's just not the shape that I like. I didn't know that at the time. I just started doing stuff in it and I feel like it's very like you have to do something long this way or something long that way. I mean, you could do little things. But it's just an awkward shape for me. I mean, if it was bigger then maybe, but I don't know. I just... Uh, I don't like the shape, the, and that is that, okay? I will hear no more of it. <laughs> These are some Posca pens, um, <laughs> obviously, that I bought Chris when we went to Singapore. I bought him a huge batch of them, and I'm using them, <laughs> and he doesn't mind. We kind of share art supplies because we both do art, so why wouldn't we share art supplies, I guess? I've been using them in the later pages. I'm just gonna run through quickly this sketchbook up to now. So it's been pretty long going for the sketchbook because I started it in October 2018 for Inktober. I think I managed to complete about two sketchbooks last year, but they were maybe bigger than this. So this has been under six months, so maybe it's not that bad, um, but yeah. Just because I've started this new, well, it's not new anymore. I started this job last year where. I didn't like design all day, so I come home and I don't really feel like drawing that much, which kind of sucks a lot. Because I feel like I'm making something good. Recently, I'm in this play and we. Anyway, a <laughs> little less moaning is going to be ahead, I promise. These are what I did for Inktober. I go into it a little bit more in my Inktober drawing that is probably I put up the end of October. So if you are interested, then you can go check the, that out. But yeah. Um, I did a lot of ink drawings about my book that I wrote, um, Princess Cursed, and I just drew, drew like took the, um, what are they called? Prompts, that's it, good artist. I took the prompts and then I just drew like images in my head from this, from the, the story. Wow, <laughs> I can't speak this morning. And I like this doodle, although it's like, what? Um, these are all the characters, as you can tell, it's a very heavily female-based story. Sorry about that, my camera decided not to work. That crunching sound is Pesto eating her breakfast, so I apologise, the cat's got to eat, okay? I'm not sure what I showed you already, so if you've seen any of this, um, apologies, but just gonna go over it quickly again. This is a watercolour thing, I was doing that, <coughs> a watercolour thing, a watercolour painting, an experiment thing. Yeah, you start with the lightest wash first, and then you go darker and darker, and then you steadily pick out um, the leaves and things. Is that true? Something like that. <laughs> I can't remember, it's been ages. Um, some doodles of some creepy women. Some more doodles of ladies with probably using these Faber-Castell pencils that I really like drawing with right now. That are great. Oh, this was in Inktober. This was the final, one of the scenes in the book that I know I don't know if I showed anyone and I, I think this was like the final Inktober that I did because I kind of gave up after that because I started my job and everything was new and you know I was getting into the rhythm of stuff I've probably said this a thousand times on my channel but just letting you guys know um, this was for a 300 page book channel challenge where I turned to the 300th page of a book and I get a prompt from that page. I read the story and I decide what to draw based on what it says. And it, this was the Arabian Nights. I'm not sure what this is, just a spooky girl. You can see here that I have actually written what I should be doing next for the prompts and I never finished them. And it is my shame and it shall follow me to my death. Oh, we did this thing called Horror Fest, and I was just people watching, drawing, or trying to, anyway. I think I was very stiff, because you know when people are watching you and you're like, mm. <laughs> Even though I do YouTube and I let people watch me on this, it's a little bit different when you have a live audience. 
we were watching Sabrina and I really wanted to draw her and I think I was using this yellow Copic marker and I yeah I like that Sabrina I think I might have copied that from the actual logo though so no kudos for me not allowed and I was trying to draw her in like a very stylistic um kind of is it the 1960s style where they had like really geometric shapes and triangular I don't know I don't know I don't remember um hmm. oh this was planning for my video that I did with the uh, YouTube artist collective and I was trying to plan different things and I think I went with this one which was the house which was like a 3d kind of house we opened the doors and you saw inside which was quite fun to do these are the pumpkin kids from that show over the garden wall and I just felt like drawing them I think this was for that um Huvember which you know even though I failed Inktober horribly I was like yeah you know what let's do um Huvember that won't that will work and I did like two of them and I did Sabrina because oh that's why I was drawing Sabrina because she's yellow <laughs> she's not yellow her not even a hair is yellow, but you know, it was a good chance to use yellow. And I really liked this drawing actually. It was really fun and I think this was something I was proud of after probably a month of not being proud of anything, which is kind of sad. Uh, yeah, and then I drew the, the pumpkin guys from Over the Garden Wall. This was fun to draw as well. I like this image too, even though it's just a straight up copy of something because well, it's not a copy, but, you know, when you're copying characters, it's not really your art, I guess. It's just copying, so this one is not really very special to me. Oh, uh, this was a drawing that I was intending to do, a big drawing of, a larger scale. And I think I just didn't finish it or continue. I quite like her. I like the way that I used the Posca with the pencil that might be something to explore now I think because I was having a lot of art block I was taking a lot of inspiration from shows that we were watching and we were watching maniac and this is one of the characters in that so I think I was just doodling her and trying to do the hue of ember thing so this was like sign this was kind of the red color for that and then I drew some awful houses I actually remember this day it was a Saturday and I sat down and I wanted to film a video so I drew these houses on camera and I was like mwah, mwah, what is happening I have lost all skill to draw because I haven't drawn every day for a while because for two years I was drawing every day and then I just went from that to not doing it and it really shows it really really shows I quite like this doodle, I think I did this on camera as well, um, but I never showed it, and I do like it, I don't have any idea what's going on in it, or where it came from, why is she naked, why is she floating through the air slash into the ocean, or why there's a flame going behind her, I don't know, but it works. I'm sorry that this is a funny angle, but this wretched sketchbook is too long to fit properly, um, yeah. <laughs> Can you tell that I did not like the shape of the sketchbook? Here's another image that I did not like. But I think I just, you know when you have art block and you're just trying to get something out on paper. And you're just like, what is this? Her, mm. Okay, I was about to rip it to shreds, but let's just refrain from doing that, shall we? Because that doesn't get anyone anywhere. Ah, another art blocky page. And I think I even bent this one up to like hide it. And I was trying to do some word typography type things but the typography is awful um it's from that song that i very much like so whatever again a little bit of art blockiness i think i was using the tiger pens tiger markers and copics here and i like this doodle it's quite cool and i don't mind her so this page is all right but it's just not it's just not fabulous, you know? It's just not amazing. And here you can see that I'm still struggling with art block. And I was just... <sighs> the frustration, you can tell like how much I just went through to just get this done. Not get this done, but just get something out that I can draw. I like this page though. 
um, this is Gigi. If you don't know Gigi, he's my black cat and he was just sleeping next to me. So I decided to do some inks. I have this ink brush pen. I was using that and then just using a bit of water to kind of add a wash to that. And I really like this one because I think it really captures Gigi, which is nice because, you know, he's my cat and I love him, so. <clears throat> Here is a fail. Presenting to you my fail. That's what I'm saying. That is what I'm deciding to say here. Oh, Pierre has arrived. Her Majesty. And <laughs> what a coincidence. I think this is supposed to be Pesto and I'm drawing a little crown on her because she does think she's the Queen. Pesto, do you mind? We're trying to film? We're trying to film. Okay, well, that's happening, guys. I'm sorry. I don't even know what this was for, actually, now. I think I was just just wanted to make a cartoony image of Pesto. Get... Oh my god. Will you desist, woman? Okay, please. 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 <sighs> then I drew um, this poster for my local theatre group for Sinbad. There's a video of that. Breaking into Christmas time. Because it says, Mum at Christmas. This is the back of my mother. <laughs> in one of her, one of her rooms, what is that? <laughs> At her house, in her living room, she's on the computer right now. And they had this little um, wooden village piece on their mantle, I think, and I got a bit inspired to draw like a little weird village and on hills, and I quite like this image. I think we were playing board games at the time and I was just doodling in my sketchbook. So, good memories from these drawings, actually. And that's something I like, is when you have a sort of diary. Um, not a diary, but when you can look back on drawings in your sketchbook and be like, oh yeah, I was at this place in my life at this point, and... Oh gosh, guys. We got heavily into the Crystal Gems around Christmas time, and we watched, like, all of them over Christmas. And I really like... The character design in that, I really, really like that show. It's so fun. If you guys haven't seen it, even the story is really good as well, which surprised me. And I think I drew myself <laughs> as a crystal gem, trying to use limited colours. And yes, it's okay. Again, it's alright, but I think I smudged... I think the pen I was using Copic markers and it doesn't really go with the pen. And then it was like, what the heck is this? Face is a bit bizarre, but... It was fun. I think I was trying to do draw this in your um, draw this in your style challenge to break out of that art block, which is a constant theme through this. There, I like that style a lot more. I think I was trying to draw the crystal gem style a bit better, and I think I did a better job here. You know, when sometimes you just do a relaxed doodle and it turns out better than something you're trying to be rigid about. This is Procrasta art style. I did draw this in your style challenge. I did this one first and I didn't like it. And then I did this one and I liked it. And again, it's kind of mixed media style, which I think is something that I kind of do a lot, maybe? Do I? I guess. I just like to have um, fun with the art supplies. I drew another creepy girl because I think that's something that I really liked doing. This was another draw this in your style. And I wanted to post this to Instagram, but then I just never did. I honestly don't remember who this is, but you've probably seen this image a lot because I think it was quite a popular one on Instagram. I'm sorry, I can't remember. Um, I don't think I posted it. But yeah, I used watercolour here, as you can see, like her face. I really like that style. And then I used the pencil over the top to kind of give a little pink, pink tint. And I like that. I do like that. This was for my collaboration with Scribble Arts and I sort of did a weird Mad Hatter's tea party interpretation and I really like the perspective on everything where it's just flat and weird and it doesn't make much sense and I really like the black darkness around it. It's very atmospheric but also interesting and bright and colourful and I, I really like this style and I really want to look into drawing more things like this in the future. This was testing out my new art supplies that I got in Singapore. I finally got some Schmincke watercolours and I I fell in love with this deep blue, this dark blue. I think it's my favourite watercolour ever. And um, I'm trying not to overuse it in things, but I did some fish and used some gold because I got these um, 
the Gansey Tambi watercolour starry colours that I have been looking at people on YouTube use forever and been like I want to use it so I finally got them. I think here I was just testing out the watercolours, doing some swatches but then seeing how they layered and things like that. I don't really know what I was trying here. I can't even remember what this is but like what I've used here but it looks quite cool actually. So I might have to use that in something but if I can remember how I did it. Ah oh, yes, welcome back to the art block everybody. This is where I draw another weird girl with weird looking hands and short arms. There's no saving this one and there's no coming back from it. Here is some rough sketches of the slime girls that I did. I did a video of the slime girls again. If you don't know what that is, it's on my channel. It's just these characters I created that uh, uh, I was inspired by slime to draw last year. And yeah, they're just they're just fun, fun little story and I was just doodling in here to rough out some sketches and then I did some watercolours. Again you can see this dark blue that I am in love with, just using it whatever. Here you will see another weird girl trying to flush out that art block. It's, it's rough times guys, I told you this sketchbook wasn't going to be smooth sailing, didn't I? Um, hmm, what else have I drawn? Okay, this one I don't mind so much, it's just a pencil drawing. I think the proportions are quite cool. Her left eye is looking a bit, a bit odd, but I like it. I quite like this. And I like when pen, when people use the side of the pencil. Just drawing some more girls because I like drawing girls. And again, a weird girl with weird arms. I honestly don't know what's going on with the arm situation in this book. Oh, I quite like this one. This was fun to do. Um, I got like a mood board on Pinterest and I put them together and I came up with this from all the sort of images that I saw. And I really like it because it's probably the, the biggest piece that I have done in a while. As in completed, you know, a, an actual scene, a room. I was thinking that I need to draw more environments and this probably proves why because that window is getting a little bit wonk over there and certain things about this drawing are a little bit off. It's nice, it's atmospheric, I like the colours I used and I like the lighting and stuff. I just think it's nice and I wish I was her sitting there in a rainy room with a nice drink and books and in that light. Perfect. Perfect. The drawing isn't perfect, my image of the drawing is perfect and I was like I need to draw interiors so I tried this and I made a wonky window and some wonky hands and that leads us to the final pages I say final pages but there is like what seems to me an infinite amount of pages left so I don't want to use this sketchbook anymore because I'm tired of it and I don't like the shape and I think I've gotten to a stage where I'm just trudging through to finish it Saying that, let's use it now! Oh wait, I've got two more drawings. <laughs> um, this is when I started using the Poscas and I do like these styles. These styles? The styles of this one. I really like this. I really like how this came out. I like her hands. Even though they are still a little bit weird, everyone. I'm still going through my weird hand phase. I like the way that they look like they're gently holding that broomstick. I think I was trying to draw Sabrina again and then it just turned into whoever. And yeah, I like that. I'm gonna use the Poscas today because we're on a Posca roll. Also, guys, also, also, I have to show you this amazing sharpener that I can't find. Here is this amazing sharpener. It's called... I think I'm just gonna spell it out to you then say it. It's KUM Automatic Long Point Black Wing. Basically, it has two components. One, and it kind of shapes it, I think. And then two, gets it really, really... Sh pointy so it's really nice to use um i know that sounds really really lame but hey if you use art supplies a lot you probably probably know about stuff oh here's another drawing that i never finished why do i keep doing this and forgetting that i have other drawings yeah using the poscas here i did not like how this was going i think at the time like why her eye is ridiculous don't know um so i stopped doing that okay what i'm gonna do is just do a Pinterest interest board and I'm gonna go from there because I think I just need inspiration. Okay guys, well, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, we're back and I've got a few inspiration for drawings. Um, not many, but enough to kind of get me going. I think what I wanna do is a girl looking into a mirror and I found this kind of bathroom as well that I really like the stars 
in and the blue. <laughs> Guess what, guys? She's going to be using blue. Um, so I'm going to use that. And I was thinking maybe I could have lots of potions and stuff behind her. But I'm just going to... Oh. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, I just want to do something. I saw this quirky outfit. I like, I know lots of people are like, oh, people's noses would never be red. Meh, meh, meh. You can't draw what you want. But I like it when people have like rosy cheeks and rosy noses. You know what I mean? It's like, screw you. If we want to draw that, we can draw that. Um, yeah, that's my, my rant over with. I think I want to draw something like that. So this is going to be the mirror. And then around her is going to be that sort of bathroom that we saw. And she's going to be big. I think it's going to be like quite a small mirror. And I think what I'm going to do is like a creepy person on this side. As you can see, I'm drawing with a Faber-Castell pencil. It's magenta. I really like drawing with this one. And I think it gives it, gives like, if I paint over the top of it or do anything like that, it gives it like a nice warm under hue. I'm in the mood for a little bit of creep, guys. I'm going to do like a gold mirror so I can finally use properly my my starry colours. <clears throat> Apologies for that random outburst. I kind of want to take inspiration from that drawing I did ages ago. You can see that it's her, maybe. Just looks lols, doesn't it? That just looks funny. It just looks like a, a, a Pac-Man ghost at the moment. <laughs> I said I was going to use Poskas, didn't I? So let's try and use that, shall we? I say we. <laughs> I'm going to make it look more ghoulish than that, hopefully. Mm, it's going to be quite difficult with the the Poskas, but... Oh, giant Posca! <clears throat> no, I will not calm down, everyone. I've just remembered that this paper doesn't really like Posca paints very much. And it kind of um, shreds a little bit, so there's going to be some of that happening. But oh well, what are you going to do? Can't win them all. I'm gonna do like a sort of outline around her. I think I'm gonna do mixed media, but try and use the Poskas as much as possible. Cause I only have these thick boys. So if I try to do details, it's not gonna work out for me very much. Wait a second, wait a second. We got an uneven wall here. Okay, there we go. <sighs> Maybe I should use black. Cause I like the way the black looked before. Mm I'm gonna use the screen because I'm a crazy person and I'm gonna use I'm gonna leave like a white a white border. I think what I'm gonna do is do like shadows over the top if I can. I don't know how well Poscas work with trying to layer on top of it, but it's not Posca. So I think this video is gonna be massively long and I apologize for that, but okay, okay, we, we're getting there guys. We are getting there. What I wanted to do before what I was saying is try and make a tile pattern, but using the Posca. So I don't know whether to use a light blue. Actually, let's just test it over here, shall we? My original thought was to use that cream color. Oh, and also the paper does not like me using double Posca. That's kind of cool, that light blue, because it's subtle. I think I'm gonna use the blue. I, I know that this paper is gonna hate me doing this, so I have to be reasonably careful. Just a hint of tile, you know? I don't know how well you can see it on camera, because it is very light. What I want to do is use the gold here, and then around the mirror. And I think I'll do watercolor for her. This brush isn't 100% clean, because it's me. I'm also, um, for the story of this image, I'm kind of assuming that this isn't her bathroom. Like she's visiting some kind of witch shop or something. Give this being, maybe it's not her, but it's gonna be creepy and I'm not sure how I'm gonna make it look creepy, but we're gonna try, okay everyone? I think I'll go over the, the whole mirror with a sort of light wash of blue or something to indicate that it's a mirror and not like, yeah, the paper is not liking this. Stupid sketchbook. <laughs> if in doubt, just blame the sketchbook, guys. That's my new lesson for you. I totally messed that up, but it's fine. I don't like this. I think I might make this black as well. I think it just, it would... L oh, I, I went for it without even thinking about it properly. <laughs> I was going to explain why I'm going to do that, and then I just went for it. Um, I think sometimes, for me, if I'm, like, thinking something's not going right... Just add more mixed media in there and then it kind of turns around. Just keep adding stuff. This doesn't work as well. Not a very good composition really. Should have done that lower because now it's intersecting into her face and it doesn't really, doesn't really work. I don't know about this guys. <laughs> yeah, this is just a mass of um, globs over here of paint. 
So anyway, let's hope that that turns out. It kind of, it has a nice effect, kind of nice texture. Had a bit of a short break because I had to upload some stuff, but now we're back. I've pinned this down because it was buckling slightly, so everything should be dry for me to continue working on it. I'm just going to do some more stars in this uh, scene. Okay, I'm just going to leave that for now. I was thinking I had this idea to just use um, tracing paper over the top of this mirror, so I think I'm going to highlight some more of her features and maybe like the the headdress and then just put this over the top and I think that will look good so I'm gonna try it I think it looks kind of cool gives the impression of a mirror definitely like a bit more um, I'm gonna do something with the stuff in the in this bathroom because it can't just be plain I think I'm gonna make more gold stuff again I'm not really sure what's in these <laughs> jars and things but I think they must be Something a little bit creepy. Okay, that's it guys. That's the final image of this sketchbook that I'm gonna do, because I am retiring this sketchbook now. I'm not gonna use it again. I think as well, you can probably see, maybe if it had been, if I'd done it this way, maybe it'd been better, but it's just an awkward shape for me. And that's basically the only reason why. Um, the paper's not so great as well. So I'm just gonna try and find these sketchbooks that I found in Lidl's all those years ago and try and get them again. But yeah, here's the image. As you can see, the paper didn't really work out that well because I shouldn't have used super glue because that didn't, that didn't help, but it kind of works. I kind of like it and I hope you guys like that. That's the end of this video. Please like and subscribe for more content and I'll see you next time guys. Bye.